What is going on, everybody? Welcome to a brand new episode of Revelation Communication Current Events. Today is August 4th, 2022, and I want to start by sharing a verse from James's epistle. And it's from the third chapter, the 17th verse. It says this. But the wisdom that is from above is first pure, then peaceable, gentle, and easy to be entreated, full of mercy and good fruits, without partiality and without hypocrisy. I share this with you to inform you that this will be the last current events that I'm going to be doing. You know, after taking um, after taking these last few weeks off, I haven't done a current event since July 14th. After taking these last few weeks off from doing it, um, man, I, I got to be honest with y'all, man. I have been lamenting putting this one together this week, as as this week actually has has drawn closer to today. I I found myself you know, being filled with anxiety, being filled with stress because I knew that the day to do current events was coming up and man, I just really didn't want to do it. I didn't want to do it at all. And for me, the final nail in the coffin was a documentary that I watched yesterday in preparation for current events. I had fully intended on talking about this documentary, um, called these little ones about child trafficking and it absolutely broke me watching this documentary yesterday and and, and man I gotta be honest with you I haven't cried like that in a long time and the reality is is I have found myself spending countless hours a week scrolling through news articles Um, following up on news articles to make sure that they're legit and that they're vetted, Um, watching videos of things that I would, of course, add to this platform and, 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 and talk about. And it has consumed what little time I have during the week left. And it's time that I would rather spend doing other things, spending with my family, engaging with them. And what happens is, one rabbit hole that you go down investigating something leads to another rabbit hole, leads to another rabbit hole. And next thing you know, I'm so immersed in it that it's consumed me. And as you're probably aware, none of it is encouraging and uplifting news. And and I found myself coming to the end of, of recording these podcasts and being completely emotionally and mentally drained. You know, the last one that I did on July 14th, it literally had me in tears, not because of the content, but also because of the effect it had on me when I got done recording it. You know, I called two people yesterday and and, and shared this with them, and, and they both told me to stop, stop doing it. And really, man, that's that's all the confirmation I needed to to step away. Um, But before I do, I I wanted to provide to you all a majority of the resources that I've been using since starting this podcast. And I I really do want to encourage you, um, if you do enjoy this podcast, and listen, I know the convenience of somebody telling you the news, but if you really enjoy this podcast and 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 the articles um that i'm sharing with you um i want to encourage you to read and to listen to follow up as i found these to be very reliable sources of of news information that you're not going to find or hear about from local news affiliates or especially from the mainstream media because they have an agenda to push false information The first one I want to share with you all today is is called the Forward Observer. Um, The Forward Observer is a 
paid subscription, and it's the only one that is a paid subscription. But really, man, th this this website is full of news articles from around the world that you'll find provide more information about what's going on in the United States than the United States provides through the news and through the media. Um, you know, it's only ninety nine a year. I, I think for you know twelve months worth of of good news. Um, you know, that, that's a, that's a good deal. And in my opinion, worth the investment, you know, and, and if you're interested in, in what's going on around the world, um, you know, it's something that you might want to look into. The second one is the gateway pundit. Um, another great news source with, um, plenty of, uh, news articles of what's happening, um, that are often contrary um, to what's being reported in the mainstream media and its affiliates. The third one is the watchers. I really like these guys because their approach leans more towards events, uh, natural disasters, weather phenomenons, and other biblical type events that are taking place around the world. So I definitely encourage you to follow the watchers. Um, the fourth one is Zero Hedge. Um, again, another good news source, and the alias name of the journalist is Tyler Durden. Man, if you know, you know. If you've seen the movie, you know the name Tyler Durden, um, but it makes me giggle every time I see his name above uh, one of the news articles as the uh, as the editor and publisher. Um, uh, now, these again, these, these four websites are things that you can access from your smartphone, from a laptop, from your PC, you know, just go into Google, um, go into Firefox or whatever other uh, uh, website um, or search engine you use and, and uh, pull up these ones. Um, and, and again, man, just reliable news sources. Um, next, I want to share with you someone I follow on the Rumble app. Now, the Rumble app is where I um, post uh, or have been posting these current events because YouTube doesn't like them and tends to uh, to pull them down. But um, the Rumble app uh, is a great app. Um, it's very um, conservative in nature. A lot of information on there you'll find um, if you follow people uh, that is not being put out uh, in, the, in the regular media. But the one person, and I only follow one in Rumble, is uh, Stu Peters. Um, again, if you don't have a Rumble, get it and follow this guy. Stu Peters is in the trenches. He's interviewing people that the mainstream media would never interview. And he's reporting on things that will never be reported on um, from a mainstream perspective. Um, Stu Peters is really fighting the good fight when it comes to journalism and it does a great job on his shows and definitely want to encourage you to follow Stu Peters. And then finally on the Telegram app are two people that I encourage you to follow there on Telegram. One of them may be a familiar name and that is Amir Safardi. Um, Amir is an Israeli who lives in Galilee. Um, and loves the Lord Jesus Christ. And because of Amir's position in the Israeli army and his location in Israel and surrounded in the Middle East, you know, he's very up to date on current events in and around that region. So definitely follow him. Subscribe to his YouTube channel as well. Um, and, uh, and follow Amir Safardi because he puts out um, constant updates throughout the day as to what's going on with him, what's going on in Israel, um, what's going on around Israel, and is, um, and, and is talking about all that stuff throughout the day on this app. Now, the second person that I want to recommend following on Telegram is a guy named Nate Barano. Um, his channel can be a little crass at times, um, but he puts out a lot of good information about what's going on here in the States and abroad. Um, a lot of his content is stock related because he's a day trader, um, but he does also put out a lot of good content that, uh, that I follow and, and some links to some websites and news articles that I find to be very resourceful. 
with that being said, man, listen, I, I, I genuinely want to thank everyone that has supported this podcast, this current event. Um, it is certainly the most watched podcast and video um, that I put out each week. You know, I put out Sunday morning worship service videos. I put out midweek Bible study videos, man. I got my Tuesday normal revelation communication podcast that I put out, man. But uh, current events is... Uh, um, without a doubt, the most watched video that I usually put out um, on any given week. And so I know that there's a big desire to know what's happening in our world. And that's okay. That's a good thing. Um, But with that said, I do want to encourage you to immerse yourself first in the scriptures. Man, get the good news before you get any other news. And, And while there is a need to be informed, Um, as to what's going on around us, don't let it conform and take your eyes off of um, what you should be setting them on in the first place. And that is our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Thanks so much for tuning in, y'all. I'm Solomon Stewart, officially signing off with Revelation Communication Current Events.